Okay, so with the Judgment card as your crowning energy, this is definitely, definitely a new cycle, okay? And it's very appropriate because um, this is also, you know, um, from the 21st, it's also your birth date, um, I guess, when the sun is in your... Um, your sign and also in your constellation so it's bringing about new energy for a new path to move forward with your life course okay which is great um you know it's a good card to have coming in i do feel though you know with the star in the reverse position the star is also indicative of um wish and it's in the reverse position and you know next to a next to us a card with swords and next to a card with pentacle so i'm feeling that um a lot of you might have you know um wanted like a big payout or some type of a monetary gain in your work environment and that is definitely delayed okay um i feel though you know like um uh, with the energy here you're not in outright poverty, okay? It's just this other, this financial windfall that you're hoping to land or like a, a bonus at work or something like that, something where it's a huge chunk of money or like even a pay negotiation, like something like that didn't go too well, um, you know, the end of last month, February. Or if it's happening the very beginning of March, it's not going to play out you know, to your benefit, but at the same time, I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's extra stuff that you can do without, you know, you just want it, but, um, it, it's extra, so, you know, it's a dampening energy, so I would say, you know, don't, um, fret over it too much, okay, because hard work is going to be, um, rewarded in the end, so don't worry about it too much. For those of you who are not dealing with that as a financial situation, what I'm sensing with the Nine of Swords in general is um, this is a situation and it's potentially love related to with these Swords energy all corroborating the same story. Um, you are actually, you know, um, in February, there is a broken heart situation, okay? It could um, potentially be, be since January too, but um, because, you know, the star card is a card of Aquarius, and the time frame for Aquarius is January 21st to, um, what is this, uh, February, February 18th? So what I'm sensing as well is it could potentially be a love situation in which there is infidelity from the other side, okay? This is a sneaky man card, and I don't want to get this card ever in a reading. And especially in the reverse position, um, the information came to light, and you are very, like, brokenhearted over it. Okay, the good news is, with the Three of Swords in the reverse position, you're actually healing. You're actually coming to terms with it, because... Um, the information or whoever it is that did you wrong is exposed and you know your worth enough that you're not going back to it, okay? So there's definitely healing, there's definitely moving on. And with judgment, all these cards are corroborating the same story as well, that there's going to be like, the day of reckoning actually happened already, okay? We're looking at judgment as a day of reckoning in which, you know, truths are revealed, in which people are exposed, you know, in in their full splendor so that's the situation that um brought you the closure that you really need as painful as it is i feel that it brought you the closure that you need to fully move on with your life okay um what i'm also sensing here with the death card and this is a really really good card to get at the end of the month is um healing is taking place and you're actually gaining your footing again okay so you're definitely gaining in self-confidence and all of that in order to move on with your life, in order to leave this emotional baggage behind, okay? So this is a really good energy for you. Um, okay, so let's move on. Um, so, I, yeah, I haven't finished talking about this Nine of Swords. And what I'm sensing with the three sword cards is that um, I know it's, it, it's really painful. This is like something that um, hurts really deep down at your core, and the worst part about it is that um, it was really unexpected. It was like 
it came out of the left field and you did not see it coming and that's why it's so shocking that's why it's so difficult to cope with and even now you're still shaken up by it every time you think about that person every time you think about that situation it's keeping you up at night essentially but like it it hurts in a really deep and profound way and like I I really sympathize with this but um you know information came to light you're actually you know so like your heart hurts but your head is telling you that yes I can move on past this I'll be okay because I love myself too much to put myself back in that situation and deal with that same person so you're not going to stoop to their level which is great because what I'm sensing here is uh, with this page of swords you're now very rational discerning and also very guarded about this person which is a good thing for you to do so you know you're you're looking back in the spirit of like um enlightenment so um you're looking back at that situation and you're seeing it um you're seeing the reality of the situation for what it truly is rather than you know um i guess rather than nostalgia you're analyzing this past situation very objectively which is a great thing to do and you're going to move forward but um you're looking back not in the spirit of like yearning for whatever that situation was or what whoever that person is you're yearning for you know you're you're looking back because um you want to shed light on it you want to reconcile with it within yourself not with the other person but more so within yourself so that you can start healing and i do see the healing process happening very soon after so shed light on that situation if need be but i see that um you're actually handling this situation very well um, so, you know, let me know how long this situation has been happening for you guys because I just feel that, you know, the, the way you're handling it, it is just pretty amazing. I mean, we're going from sleepless nights to like healing of the heart in the same month. So that's why I'm just a little curious. And, you know, if you can pass some information or uh, advice along for people who are in the same situation too, because you're handling this extremely well. So, you know, good job. Um... What I'm sensing here too with the two of wands is um, this is a situation in which you know your worth, okay? And I would say in a negative manifestation of it, it it's also like uh, looking out into for greener pastures with what you already have. However, what I'm sensing is that um, it's not that you you have something in the palm of your hand. It's more that you know your worth and you know your capabilities and you know that um, if you put yourself out there, you're going to achieve greatness. You're going to get the desired results, okay? So it's a situation in which you know your worth. These are all coupled with good cards. So I would say knowing your worth so that um, you can, you know, find whatever it is that is worthy of you out in the real world. And that's really good energy to have as well. So, um run with that okay but at the same time it's also backward looking so i would say you know don't don't do that don't um um i would say you know like we all approach situations and we all deal with people in our own ways um it's it's important to know things from the other person's perspective but at the same time in a situation where the truth has been revealed and that person you know um, ex got exposed for what they are there's no way you can go past it um, go back and fix these things okay so move on with your life I, I I just strongly feel that a lot of you are looking back with objectivity but also with a little bit of like um, there's a little bit of regret still okay so hence you know the, the fact that this heart is not going to heal until the end of the month there's still going to be a little bit of regret and there's still going to be like um you're not it's not a situation in which you're going through the motion like um you're thinking about what ifs like what if i had done that it's more like if that person hadn't done that we could have had this you know so um we can't control what people do and then we can't we really shouldn't dwell on the um the choices that they made just because at the end of the day you don't really know their motives okay so i definitely would say let that go that would be like the only energy i'm getting that is um somewhat like um i guess 
a damper energy, but aside from that, everything else looks promising. I mean, this situation is definitely going to, um, this is going to hurt, but you're moving past it because I do feel that you have like great tools at your disposal, okay? And knowing your worth, knowing your capabilities, you're going to go out, you're going to recover and you're going to put yourself out there to bring in energy and people that are more worthy of your time and your, um, what you have to give okay so that's really nice um with the seven of uh, so seven of wands in the reverse position um this is also you know what i call like a lonely battle like you're fighting a lonely battle in the past this is a past energy it's showing up in the reverse position because um you're letting it go like you're no longer feeling the need to constantly defend yourself to constantly get the other person to see your point of view which is great to do okay but um, I would definitely say, you know, just leave it alone because at this point you have nothing left to prove to the other side. I, I'm pretty sure they've come to terms with it. They're coming around to it. So they already know they messed up pretty badly, okay, because, you know, you, you are worth it. So they, they already already know that. So, you, you know, you can put down your wands and stop fighting and, um, you know, just let it be because... They, I feel that this person um, as well, there's a lot of shame, there's a lot of shame here, and what I'm sensing is, is this, okay, so um, this is not going to apply for everybody, but um, definitely for a few, so for those of you, um, what I'm sensing is this, okay, if we have these two cards in the... Um, upright position okay so there's a lot of abundance here and then this person feels that you know they can steal little by little and this person who is living in splendor is not going to miss anything so it's one of those situations where you know they justify their acts of indiscretion they're, they're justifying their uh, immoral behavior because um, they feel that it's not going to affect you on a profound level because you have so much abundance. Okay, however, the cards are showing up in the reverse position. So what I'm sensing is this. And I think this is going to resonate. And um, I hope it brings some sort of like new insight for you. Um, that person, not all of you, but majority of you might be dealing with a person in which, you know, little by little, they're stealing or they're being... They're like, um, I guess, corroding your life little by little because they feel that, you know, um, they feel that you have enough, that you're happy. So whatever they take, whatever they do that's wrong, little by little, it, they're chipping away at, you know, pieces of yourself and they feel that it's not harming you. And in the process, it's because of their behavior that um, it's kind of like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Over time, everything accumulates, and you have no choice but to call them out on it and walk away from it, okay? So, I feel it's one of those situations in which, you know, they try to rationalize, they try to justify their actions, their unlawful behavior or their immoral behavior, by thinking that it's not going to affect you. And I feel as well, it's one of those ongoing processes where... Things have been like this for a really long time, and finally it just blows over. So then now they're really ashamed of it. Now they're looking at it in the same light in that, you know, they were wrong. They shouldn't have done that in the first place, but because it was dragged on for too long, that um, it's hard for both parties to really look at this situation, you know, when it first happened. I feel that this is also energy, possibly from January, but um, it could also happen in, in the later part of the month. For those of you who are not dealing with, like, a love partner, like, a, in, you know, like an infidelity type of issue, it could be a friend taking advantage of you, too, and you're, you know, you have to cut them off. It could be that situation. Um... I'm sensing like an Aquarius to could potentially be in the picture, you know, in that capacity, just because the card is in the uh, reverse position and it's coming in early on in the month. And for those of you who might have where, you know, this is a work relationship because it is dealing with a pentacle situation, it could be somebody from your work environment. So you have to cut them off, but because it's an impersonal work environment, uh, you're not very distressed over it. 
Okay, so I do feel that it might be swift and then it's over and you know that's it. But um I I just I what I'm sensing is this, it's a past energy, like it, it's been a, like an ongoing situation and you're like uh, questioning your sanity. It's like this something is going on behind your back and then you're questioning your you're like a little paranoid if it's a work environment too. Something's happening and you you've been like really paranoid and finally all this information is coming to light and you're just like you have that aha moment in which you're seeing this like clearly therefore you're able to move on but either way it's there's a lot of healing energy at work for this month okay so um i would definitely say um whatever is exposed is for your greater good so that you can leave this toxic environment behind you okay so um, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how this plays out in your life.